Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. The Jay Prince situation. He came out yesterday with this long, oh God, just this whole dissertation. I don't even know if I want to read it because it's just long. Do I feel like reading it? Do you want to be Mother Goose? Y'all want me to read what I read? Because it, like, I literally had to, like, not read it, then go back and read it. Anyways, um, who remembers J. Prince Sr.? Y'all go, y'all gonna stop mixing these two up. Y'all gonna stop mixing up them three men. Y'all keep mixing up J. Prince Sr., J. Prince Jr., and Jazz Prince. These are three different individuals now they all share a birthday less than a day apart okay y'all know about my symbolisms and my numbers all their birthdays fall around either what is it halloween the 31st to november 1st they all got the same birthday but they're not the same person y'all gonna stop cussing out that old man thinking it's his son but um let me go ahead and read to y'all since y'all want me to read child and put on my mother goose glasses <laughs> Let me read what good old Jay Prince had to say. Let me drink some water first because he wrote a lot. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. He says, the Prince family would like to send our condolences to the family and friends of a beautiful soul at takeoff. To the Houstonians and the families around the world. This one breaks my heart because Takeoff was a brother, a son, a role model, and a God-loving human being. Grief is a price of love, a bill people from across the globe are praying right now as we mourn this loss. I've known Takeoff, Quavo, and Offset for many years, and there has been nothing but mutual love for one another that ain't going to ever change where we are concerned. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have ever happened in our city. There shouldn't have been recorded. And this damn sure shouldn't be circulating across social media for family, friends, and fans to see. As I write this, I'm angry about the lack of love and respect that we have for one another as a race which keeps bringing us back to the same tragic place of black on black killing. They say Satan is the author of confusion. And right now there are a lot of lies and false narratives being spread by media whores. I consider myself a man that's quick to listen and slow to speak. Therefore to whom is responsible for putting that bullet in my little nephew's head, let it be known that you can't hide behind me, beside me or anywhere near me because I don't tolerate dumb shit. I speak the words not knowing whose bullet is responsible for his death. With that being said, the root of this tragedy is foolish and has to be owned by the fool. I will sum this up by saying a gun in the hands of any human that, close, that closes his eyes to shoot and doesn't have the proper skills on operating that gun is dangerous and results usually and results usually ending with innocent people who had nothing to do with the altercation being shot or killed to the homies in Georgia and around the world that got love for takeoff like we do. Know this, let's change the narrative in our culture by putting an end to every argument or disagreement resulting in violence. It's okay to live and let live to see another day. Rest in peace, take off. Oh, that was a lot to read. So, oh, I see a lot of tiny violins. Y'all was not playing. So that is what, that was the senior. There's a lot, there's a lot of coded messaging in there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to speak too much on who did what, but there will be some, there'll, there'll, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline behind this. Um, there's a lot of coded wording. There's a lot of distancing of oneself. You know, people closing their eyes to shoot. You know, a lot of stuff. 
you know, he's 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 dropping a lot of little seeds. Um, what is interesting is people being very him being very bothered by the videos that are circulating online. Now, let me say this. OK. I don't necessarily agree with people filming people's last moments, but I also get it. That this is the world that we live in, right? Everybody sat here and watched George Floyd's last moments and so many other people's last moments on camera. So this is the world that, that we live in, unfortunately, right? My thing is, are you really bothered because it was his last moments or because we watched J. Prince Jr. walk right by the body? Like that wasn't his homeboy. I don't know. It just, it felt, it felt weird to me. Like, and I don't want to, I, I never want to be in that situation, but I just, it just felt weird that somebody who's supposed to be checking in and you're supposed to be looking out for, they're laying there bleeding out and you just walk by. Because my, my thought is this, right? Remember when I told y'all a few weeks ago on my live stream, I said, I don't like checking culture. I'm not checking in with anybody. Only checking I do is the TSA. When I told you guys, I said to me, hip hop has normalized this whole checking in culture and let's keep it real. Check in culture is nothing but friendly extortion. Who remembers? Put a teacup if you guys remember me saying this. Friendly extortion is what check in culture is, in my personal opinion, right? And so. My issue is the Prince family mob ties. That is y'all's MO. Like y'all, y'all thrive off of this whole check-in thing. Remember when PMB Rock died, what were all these weirdos saying? He should have checked in. Who he didn't check in? Who was he supposed to check in? He should have checked. Why? Like, what is this check-in culture? Y'all don't say this about Taylor Swift. Y'all don't say this about any white artist. And yes, I get it. Taylor Swift is in a different genre. She's a white girl. She can freely walk through Compton. And I, have, I get all that. But I'm just saying, we only put that stupid pressure on our black rappers and black celebrity entertainers that they have to check. Check in for what? It's extortion. So, okay, fine. Cool. Y'all are checking in. Remember, there was a girl, you were arguing with me on Instagram. Oh, T, you don't know what you're talking about. It's not like that. When they check in, they're paying for protection. I said, bullshit. I said, if you want to pay for protection and you're worth millions of dollars, you can hire security, certified security. You can hire the police. Okay, when I did my event, I hired Atlanta PD outright. I know how much I spent on security for that event. I didn't have my homeboys flying from Minneapolis, bring guns, do none of that. I went through a professional security team. I went through the police department. We spent weeks dealing, you know what I'm saying, to make sure everything went off without a hitch. Everybody felt safe. Nobody felt no type of way. We had a police, that police cruiser, before you even walked into my event, there was a police cruiser that sat outside the epicenter the whole eight hours with a fucking lights on, okay? That police cruiser, him to sit there that whole day was a few thousand dollars. And I'm not rich like no rapper. So don't, don't give me that. It's not about protection. It's friendly extortion. And so my thing is, if I checked in with... Mob ties. Who's protecting Quavo? As I'm watching this video and I'm hearing him scream, take, take, get up, take. He, one of the Migos has already fallen. So you're going to leave the other one exposed? So then somebody could come up and finish the job with Quavo as well? I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching, but that's how I'm looking at this. I feel like Certain people are more upset about the video because it showed a lot of other shit besides that body on the ground. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.